Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you my 2022 to 2023 pre-K curriculum picks. I cannot wait to share with you guys everything that I have selected for my daughter. So go ahead and stay tuned for today's video. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I am actually going into my third year of homeschooling, and this is gonna be my first year really starting with one of my child's or children from the beginning of our homeschooling journey, and I'm really, really excited. So a little bit about this daughter, uh, this middle daughter that's gonna be using this curriculum. Her name is Leia. She will be four on the 28th of March. Leia is the typical middle child in our household. She is in everything she is busy she is just full of energy and life and she is really my hands-on kinesthetic learner so all of the curriculum picks that I am showing you guys are really going to suit her learning style right now she is not really a worksheet type of girl so I really had to cater to her learning style for her still to be able to learn and yet for us to really have fun and hold dear uh, these beginning uh, years of her education so you guys for her core curriculum um, the main two curriculums that I'm going to be using is a gentle and classical preschool and I'm also going to be using playing preschool you guys we actually already did one of the units in playing preschool and we enjoyed this curriculum so much i will go ahead and link that video for you guys down below so you can see us doing a lesson out of playing preschool i love this curriculum but this curriculum was missing a little bit of extra something just because I am a Christian homeschooling uh, mom and this you guys is a fully secular curriculum so if you're looking for a secular preschool curriculum this right here is for you however uh, I just wanted a little bit of extraness in our homeschool and that is why I decided to go ahead and add in a gentle uh oh it's upside down I want to go ahead and add in a gentle and classical preschool as far as like our morning work and our our character and our manners, our memory work, our health and hygiene, our safety, all about me, all of those like memory type of character building skills, I am going to be using a gentle and classical preschool for that. So you guys, a gentle and classical preschool, you actually make a beautiful display board using all of these character and manners cards, these math cards. And I originally heard about playing preschool, you guys, or not playing preschool, a gentle and classical preschool from Samantha from Among Stouts. And she actually purchased the physical copy of this program and she shows an unboxing of it. And she also shows her memory work wall that she created for her toddler. I'm gonna link both of those videos down below because I haven't created like my uh, display board for my memory wall or anything like that just yet and um, I'm really excited to film that and share that with you guys but she did an excellent job with that and if you want to see like this program in action I'm I definitely would recommend you watching those videos from her channel so I'm really excited to use this for like our morning time our memory work our character building our social skills all of those things Along with this program, you guys, they do have this binder right here, which is the preschool uh, morning binder that she's going to be using, where she's going to be using a dry erase board to chart the days of the week, the weather. She's going to be writing her name, writing how she feels. Uh, this little morning binder uh, printable, you guys, was only $8, and it just has a lot of fun things that they can do in the morning. Uh, she can use these sheets on a dry erase board with play-doh or she can use a dry erase marker so I really think that this is going to be like a fun thing that she can do and I can add inside of our morning time in our morning basket. So a gentle and classical preschool uses preschool math at home, which I already have been using. And I love this math program, you guys. Again, like I said, my daughter is very active. She is a very hands-on learner. I actually am working through this first chapter with her right now. And she doesn't even realize that she's doing math. She just thinks we are working with different toys and uh, manipulatives. She just really sees it as having fun. Um, however, I'm just really surprised of this approach of math and how it actually does work for her 
you're a little active learner. So I am happy to continue to use preschool math at home with her. And again, for those days that I wanna keep it short and sweet, these lessons, you guys, they only take about like two to three minutes. And uh, my daughter, she's got it. And it's really, really fun seeing her growth by us just doing the first chapter of this. So hopefully we can have this finished. Preschool Math at Home is geared for ages three to five. It really goes into some in-depth math concepts that's really going to build those critical thinking skills and get your child prepared for kindergarten math. So I'm really happy to do and continue this program with her. So you guys, um, these are gonna be some of my supplements that I'm gonna be showing you. Uh, this right here, as far as the gentle and classical preschool and plain preschool are my core, but these are some supplemental and some extra materials that I'm gonna be bringing in and continuing adding in our homeschool, which is uh, What Your Preschooler Needs to Know by Core Knowledge. You guys, I really love this book. This is just such a good resource uh, just for you to just sit down and read the stories, read the poems. Uh, my daughter, she really loves this book. She especially loves when I do like like the songs with her and um hopefully we can get through this uh what your preschooler needs to know book uh throughout the rest of this year again this is just really uh cute story time it's not any worksheets you're just reading the stories you're reading the poems you're uh reading the folk tales it has science history uh it just has everything that they need to know before entering kindergarten so i'm excited to continue to use this as a supplement and a resource in our homeschool now for fine motor skills, my daughter has her first handwriting book and this is so stinking cute. My oldest daughter, Brielle, who was going into the fifth grade, she actually started handwriting without tears from their orange cursive book and she is completing the series for the rest of this school year. However, my youngest daughter is just getting started with the program. So hopefully she loves it. I love handwriting without tears. I love their introduction to letters and how they do it in a systematic way and hopefully she will enjoy doing handwriting without tears. Something else for her fine motor skills is I have this Melissa and Doug scissor skills. I want my daughter to get really, really confident and good with cutting with her scissors. So I have this scissor skills from them and I also have this taping skills, which would just be like some supplemental things that I can bring in so she can get those scissor skills down packed and ready to go. Now, as far as other supplements, you guys, I love these workbooks from JDA. I have her preschool math workbook. I have her preschool writing workbook. And I also have her preschool early literacy book. You guys, I love these. They're just regular, plain black and white. They're affordable. Um, I just love these workbooks. So on lazy days, you guys, where I don't want to really do all the hands-on learning, I feel like will be a good opportunity for me to pull out these worksheets, do a quick preschool, uh, what your preschool needs to know, uh, story, and be done with it. So I really think that these are going to be a good introduction into like work sheet type of learning for my daughter as this is not her favorite however I know I'm slowly going to have to add that type of work in for her so hopefully these workbooks will kind of help me so far you guys she has done a lot of the worksheets from the preschool math and the preschool um, literacy books and she really enjoys them so uh, again these are just going to be something I'm going to be adding as a supplement for my daughter's pre-k year now you guys, as far as my daughter and her skill set, she actually knows all of her letter sounds and she is beginning to uh, sound out short CVC words. You guys, JDA's uh, YouTube channel is such a good tool for just beginning homeschoolers. And I watched her video on how she taught her kids how to read. And you guys, we're only on the first couple of steps. However, my daughter is starting to blend out these short CVC words. I printed out all of these little flashcards from her um, from her website, from her Teachers Pay Teachers website, and they're so cute. And my daughter, she really loves using these as a tool for her to sound out her uh, CVC words. So we are going to continue to work on like all of her CVC words and her sounding them out using this resource. And if I find that my daughter is ready for like some formal type of reading instruction, I did go ahead and pick out a reading program for her. So you guys, for my daughter's reading program, if she is ready to do this this year, I chose All About Reading. You guys, I am really excited about this program and I cannot believe you guys, I found 
the three readers and the teacher's guide on Facebook Marketplace for only $20. If you guys wanna try out this program, please buy it used. Please don't buy it brand new. Go onto Facebook Marketplace and type in all about reading. Sell groups, join the groups, and you will find someone selling this program for an affordable price. So that is where I got the teacher's guide and the three workbooks. Along with that, the only thing I had to purchase from the all about reading press site was the um, activity book and the cards I have them up here on my shelf already so if she is ready for like that formal reading instruction I do have this here for us to start in the latter year um, if she's ready for this along with that you guys I do also have um, explode the codes I printed these ones off for free from my scribe membership these are listed under the document so I printed off explode the code book a b and C, which are like the get ready for the codes, like the beginning phonics books. I printed them off and I just put them in this flex binder right here for my daughter. So again, if she kind of goes past this pre-K phase and I see she's ready for like formal phonics and reading instruction, I do have the next level up ready for her to go. If we get to it, that's great. If not, I have it ready for her kindergarten year. So you guys, these are all of my pre-K curriculum picks for my daughter. I am so excited to continue doing preschool with her. We have been having so much fun. I really have been just keeping it light, keeping it hands-on uh, because I know I'm not gonna get these years back and I really just want us to just have fun together, uh, learning and doing all of the fun arts and crafts and all of the hands-on activities. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me with our curriculum week. Hopefully you guys can take some inspiration from the curriculum picks that I'm going to be using for my kiddos. And as always, you guys, I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.